sweaty because it's so hot in this fucking room. There's no ventilation in here. It's pretty terrible. What's up guys, I am Ian, and it is now the end of week two of me having my first drone, the Mini 3 Pro. And for my first week of thoughts on ever owning a drone, you can check here or I'll probably just put the link down below. I have now done something for you guys so that you never have to do this, and hopefully you won't ever. I have broken a prop. But I didn't just break one prop. I actually, uh, the night that I slammed this into <laughs> a balcony, I also slammed it into the Broad Museum. Thankfully, it didn't crumble, it didn't fall, it kind of jarred in place. And I'm gonna show you that footage while I fix this broken mother prop. So that is actually one of the cool things and very nice things about the fly more kit. You don't just get, you know, those like two, I think one full set of props that you get with the regular purchase. You get two extra sets of props. So if you get the whole kit, you're, I believe you're getting three full sets. Let me count. One, set, two set, three set. More importantly than even more props, because you can always buy those, ugh, the tiny little screwdriver. You need to fix these props to replace them. I'm just gonna need one of these, right? Yeah. As I was uh, unpacking the props, I noticed that on the rear end, on the rear left, there is actually another prop that uh, kind of needs to get switched out. I don't just have one, I have two props to fix. Let's get this going. Oh, I also get the screws. Why do I have three screws for two props? Am I missing one? That's odd. Interesting. Thank you, DJI, I think. So while I was going through the footage of that downtown LA night, I noticed on the panorama shots. When you get that finished panorama uh, in the camera, when the DJI drone, when it's done, did I undo the wrong one? No, I didn't. It is actually different than if you were to go into Lightroom, merge them together via uh, photo merge, and then go into panorama. The warping in the photo, in the finished panorama photo, after doing it in Lightroom is going to be different than the one straight out of the DJI drone. It's actually got more warping, more of a bubble. Whereas coming straight out of the drone for panorama shots, it looks pretty much dead on perfect. So I'm not sure why the difference, especially, oh, these are different. How interesting, I didn't actually know this. I did not know these propellers are going to be different. Aha, so. This is for side B. So one of these is gonna be for this one. One of these is going to be for the back left, for A. Okay, I didn't pay attention, and it's a good thing that I, I just did right now. I did a few of these panoramas, as you can see right here, so that it wasn't just like one subject or one style. You can actually see that the ones from, internally from the DJI drone are not only straighter, they have a slight wider aspect ratio. It's almost like they aren't cropped in, whereas the ones that were photo merged in Lightroom, they do kind of seem like they are cropped in, even though I did not have them auto crop and I didn't take anything out. I just fixed as much as I could the warping in Lightroom before taking it to another program that could fix the warping even further. So interesting to note. Okay, so now I've got the right prop. So let's put this on. Do I need to switch the screw? It doesn't seem like I do. That is such a tiny, tiny screw. Drop this in, except my fat fingers don't wanna do that. Oh. Don't, don't lose the screw. I mean, I know I have three extras just in one bag, but I'd rather not have to if I don't need to. Oh yes, first one. Well, almost. How tight do these need to be? I see that this one is, well, it's about the same. Yeah, that's good. Wow, okay, so switching out one prop took, if I wasn't talking, <laughs> two minutes. So now let's get the other one switched out. Now how I crashed this the first time is I was getting a little too trusting already. <laughs> 
uh, because I had already been trusting that night. And so even though this is not an FPV drone, I was on the top level of Grand and I flew it under and let it go all the way across and then brought it back out the other side. And because I was doing that, I decided to fly as close and, and parallel as possible to the Broad Museum. You can see here that I clipped it. Thankfully, as I said earlier, it did not actually uh, fall to the ground. Apparently, apart from like that one prop that I didn't even notice until just now, nothing else was a problem. Nothing else was injured or broken or had anything wrong with it. And so I kept going and being trusting of myself. And where did that screw just go? Oh, it fell. Okay, let me just not let that go there. Yeah, that works. So then I switched out batteries because I was getting low and I decided to start doing uh, experimenting with waypoints. I hadn't actually experimented with waypoints in hyperlapses yet. And I know that that's like kind of the best way to customize like the placement and the height and the parallax and, and all of that of a hyperlapse for the drones. And so I started to experiment uh, going catty corner first to the uh, Walt Disney Concert Hall. As I was setting up point three, all of my attention was on the concert hall because that was my subject and I was trying to get the composition right going from stage two to stage three. I didn't pay attention to the surroundings and I found out the hard way and it hit the wall and it landed on the restaurant balcony and almost ruined uh, a double date party and whoops. <laughs> But okay, so that was quick. I'm I'm already done. Yeah. Long story short, don't trust yourself too soon. Pay attention to your surroundings and please, anytime that you are getting electronics, get the add-ons like the Fly More kit for this so that you get all of the extra accessories and you can fix it in five minutes or less. As always guys, do not subscribe if this is your first time watching any of my videos. Only subscribe if you have come back. I will see you on the next video.